Hi, and me again. So, second vid for this one off lesson to do with hypothesis testing. We've just gone through a full hypothesis test where we have a critical value of a conclusion together by NASTCC. That's how you set it out every time. And I was seeing if my R value was sufficiently away from what the R value in the critical values table is for there to be an issue. And I'm testing, I'll test it against no correlation. So I'll look at what mine is and say, ah, R is minus 0 0.9, so it's got to be a strong negative correlation. But is that minus 0.9, oh, sorry, 669? No, no, it is, no, it is. Is my minus 0 0.913 far enough away from the value in the tables on page 8 of your pack? If it is, there's an issue. But it could be you do another sample tomorrow and it's not. That's a problem with sample. Right, so I've almost jumped a page, jumped about 15 pages, I think. Uh, yeah. So the one tail, if you do a two tail, you look along that second num second line down, and it halves the value that you're doing that, because it splits it. So it splits your significance, it splits the significance half each end. So if I was doing a 5% significance level, for a two-tail test, it does two and a half percent at each end. There. So I've got to double check if it's one tail or two tail. Yeah. So practice these anyway. Um, and remember to sort the sign out as well. So we just need to practice these to be fair. So we've got these critical values here, so plus or minus. Uh, Right, let's have a look at this second example then. So it says, it's been suggested that babies take longer to learn to crawl in the colder months. So we've got longer to learn to crawl in the colder months than in the warmer months. So we've got a study in the USA recorded the average daily temperature. So you've got to be really clear, clear what this is. So average daily temperature and the age that they start walking at. Right, now then. I'm just going to pause it. What I want you to do is put these values in list one and put these values in list two. Okay? Uh, and then, right, so I'm just going to pause it and I'll get the calculator up. Oh, yeah. Right, so I put my numbers in. Hold them all right. Let's just double check the calculus set up. Right, so F2 for cal, because we've not already pressed it. F6 for set. List one, list two, list one, list two, one. Good. On. Right then, so it says here. So enter the x data into list 2, enter the y data into list 2, uh, calculate, and then F3 for regression. So F3 for regression, F1, and then F1. There. And it gives us an R value. So we know that the R value is minus 0 0.70 and I want to see if that minus 0 0.7084 is far enough from the critical values in the table for it to make a difference. That's what I'm doing. So what I want to see is, is minus 0 0.7084 far enough away to make a difference? That's what I'm trying to say. Right, and so I need to set this test up, don't I? Okay. Right. So it says, carry out a hypothesis test at the 1% significance level, so 0 0.01, to determine whether the PMCC indicates an association between X and Y. It doesn't say a positive association, it doesn't say a negative association. It's vague. If it's vague, it's a two-tailed test. There. Right, so let's set it up then. So my null hypothesis. So remember, N-A-S-T-T-C. Not all stats teachers, of course. Are there was another one, but I'm not going to say it on here, because um, it's sweating. So a H0 is at row is equal to zero, that there's no correlation. 
Uh, my alternative is that H1 is that rho is not equal to zero, that there is an association between them. My significance level is 1%. My tail is a two tail test. So what I'm saying is that 0.5% is split at each end. And I want to see if that minus 0.7084 is far enough away for it to make a difference. That's what I want to do. Right then, so my test stat is that R is minus 0.7084. If anybody kind of does psychology, then you do loads of this on hypnosis test. Uh, then I've got C, which some people say is a critical region, some people say is the um, it's a conclusion. Right, so let's be careful here now. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So n is 11. Uh, it's two tail and it's 1%. Right, so everybody flick to the back. So remember this n is 11, two tail, 1%. So I'll go to page 8. So n is 11. Two tail is the bottom, and it's 1%. So if I go across the n is 11, and two tail at 1% gives me 0.7348. Now, because it's two tail, I do plus or minus. If it was a greater than, I do plus. If it was a less than, I do minus. Because it's two tail, I do plus or minus. Uh, So, let's draw a picture then. I like the picture. I like these for the fact you can draw a picture. So my critical value for this is plus or minus 0 0.7, uh, 0.7348. So here is 0 0.7348. So anything up there is a reject, and here's a minus. 0.734, just keep an eye on the time. So if it's in here, I reject page naught. It's far enough away. My test stat is far enough away for to say, do you know what? There's an issue here. And then I've got it set. Page naught. Now my test stat is minus 7.0. So my test stat is minus 0 0.7084. And if you look, it doesn't lie in the critical region. So these are the critical regions. And the value, the 7348, is a critical value. So because it doesn't, we accept H0. So for this one, we're going to say that we accept H0. So what I could do is I could add in here that minus 0.7084 is greater than minus 0.7348, and it matches what we did in the last one. So it accepts it's not. There is not, so it's very, very specific how we write this out. There is not sufficient evidence at the 1% significance level suggest an association between the age you've got to write a lot for this the age of baby walks I've got to watch the time on my nine is thirty and the day of the time. There's one for you on the next page, I think. So I'll have a go at that one. And then I think that's it. Well done, everybody. Bye-bye.